Hello, welcome to the video, and you're probably wondering, what's the deal with the pause button and everything that's going on? Well, we were going to do a build critique of, well, if I actually show it, uh, this build right here that is behind my character, and I was going to do that. Um, however, my audio completely messed up, so instead of having to redo it again, I decide, well, let's just do this. This will actually be a lot better so that I can actually explain, you know, what's going on and some you know tips and tricks and things along you know those lines so this build's actually pretty nice i i like it quite a bit it's a pretty good build i'm just going to let it run in the background while we talk about it and there's only a couple things that i think are that should be improved now obviously should be improved is based on my opinion and my experience obviously um super side can it doesn't have to listen to that. That is the uh, builder who built this, Super Sidekian. He actually has a YouTube channel. It will be linked in the description. Pretty decent um, YouTube channel, especially for someone who only has 90 subscribers. Definitely doing really good uh, on his videos for sure. So with this build, let's actually get into the critiques I think you guys can learn from. So there's a couple main critiques that, can, that we can learn from whenever it comes to this build. So first off, color. Um, like color in general because this actually the colors of this build you know actually are pretty good there's just something a little bit off with them that i think could be improved now let me actually pause it because this is this getting annoying because i keep thinking i can control them but i can't okay there we, i'll just pause it there so there's that and then also the shape of the building so let's actually um i'm pretty sure that i start with shape so i start explaining that and there's a couple other things with the detail uh, mainly because the shape and the color combined. So because the shape and color, there's a separate issue that is sort of like a third thing. Now, obviously, all my opinion. But um, anyway, let's actually get into this. And I hope you guys learned some stuff from this video. And if you do end up liking this video and you did learn something new, don't forget to uh, subscribe to my channel and check out Super Sidekian as well. Possibly subscribe to him. Yeah, you know, subscribe to him if you enjoy the video and enjoy his videos as well. Um, but anyway, let me actually start this back up. So... Let me skip ahead. So I'm flying around at the moment, just sort of showing off the, the shape of the building. And let's actually take a look at this. So I'm going to you know, sort of slow it down a little bit. So with the shape of this, it sort of reminds me of more of a realistic castle. Now, the reason that I think that's a little bit of an issue is only because the colors in my mind seem more fantasy. Now, if this was like if this was more normal and you know it it wouldn't really matter but he chose these colors which are a bit more unique on purpose which is great because that means you're, he's getting more practice with odd colors that he wouldn't normally use so he wanted to build a castle using odd colors my guess is i personally don't know him and i haven't seen too many of his builds but i'm guessing most of his builds were actually fairly similar um to this one right here well fairly similar like castles that he's done in the past or similar structures to a castle actually here's one over there this is an okay example you can sort of see it's there's this is not a t castle but it's a tower so there's wood you know these stone pillars on the side you know you can see clay stone pillars on the side there you know there's a correlation here that you know it's sort of similar to things he's done in the past which makes sense because we all do this it's not bad that he's doing stuff that he's done in the past that's perfectly fine you're mixing mingling different ideas in your head perfectly fine to do that but this is where it gets a little confusing because in my mind now, this might be different for other people because this is based on what I think the colors, you know, seem in my in my mind. The colors seem, you know, there's this green, you know, the dark green. There's a like a lighter green, like a cyan color. So we have like a dark cyan, a cyan, a light blue with the clay. Uh, we have the white. We got um, some other like other cyan and whites and we have some birch. And birch is, you know, a neutral color as well as this white. And the main color that we see is blue and cyan, which are side by side on the color wheel. And then green, which is also right next to cyan on the color wheel. So when it comes to these colors, they actually make, you know, a lot of sense. They go well together. So, but with these colors, I imagine a fantasy castle because... Think about like these colors, at least in, in my mind, I, whenever I see these colors, I look at it, I'm like, this roof looks really expensive. I mean, look at the little, is that tiling? You know, it looks like tiling in my mind. Now I'm thinking about this a little bit overboard, a bit realistically, but it looks like tiling. It looks like, you know, it's a green roof that a green roof sounds pretty expensive unless you can just find, 
you know, green material to build it out of readily available to everyone. It's super easy to find. But I mean, to me, I, I, I would assume that a green roof would be harder to get. Then white walls would also be harder to get. I mean, it depends on, let's just imagine this is a whitewashed stone wall instead of actually be being boned because this is bone block. But let's imagine like, you know, if it was a real castle, it would be whitewashed stone. That's more expensive than just normal stone. It actually takes a lot more work because you actually have to whitewash it, which, you know, as you can imagine, that's actually quite a bit of work. So obviously it's a castle that the person wants people to look at and go, wow, that is a really nice castle. Whoever lives there is like very rich for sure. So when you have that much money to whitewash the castle, to buy expensive materials to build the castle out of, you know, like this cyan right here like uh, this blue color it's more it's a colorful castle then obviously when it comes to something like that you'd expect it to be at least in my mind i would expect it to be more fantasy or highly detailed and i think that's just something that's you know a little bit odd with this that it's it's not necessarily fantasy when you look at the shape it doesn't really remind me of you know fantasy fantasy like a high fantasy like an elven kind of thing it doesn't really remind me of like an elven, uh, you know, kind of castle, though that's sort of like the colors. That's sort of what the colors remind me of is like an elven kind of deal. Or it looks a little bit sort of like, like Skyrim with this over here. But, you know, I, I, you can sort of get what, what I mean. From my perspective, it just seems like the castle, the shape of the castle doesn't really fit with the colors. And that's pretty decently easy to, to fix, really. You just got to either make, not really make the colors change or change the shape, but you can just... Either go more realistic and make it look more realistic, or you could make it look more fantasy. And if you just make it go more fantasy or more realistic, then that pretty much fixes the issue. Now, prefer like for me, I I enjoy both. But recently, I've been um, practicing more fantasy designs. I've been practicing like Baroque, and I've been practicing uh, some. Well, Baroque isn't fantasy; it's a realistic thing, but it has a lot of like um, elegant details. So let's actually uh, so. Whenever I change um, a few of the details in this build, I, I tend to make it a little bit more fantasy than what you would uh, sort of expect. And let's actually go down and see where I go with this. Okay, I want to skip ahead 30 seconds. Well, that's a long time, actually. Um, let's actually see. Yeah, I was. This is. I pretty much just talked about um, what we were talking about just a second ago. And here we go. Now I get into um, changing the actual like color. I'm pretty sure. Um, but yeah, the shape of it also just for like a castle in general could also be changed. Not that it's more realistic or more fantasy, but you know, just the actual shape of it as well could be improved, but that's everyone. Everyone can improve on shape. If you think that you can't improve the shape of your house, yeah, it could be true. There's, you know, some designs that are just very classic and you know, you can't really improve it because it's just a classic design. It's something that, you know, you just, you make just like a cylindrical tower. I mean, you could improve it, but I mean, if that's just what you're going for, you know, so there's very rarely can you say that you can't improve shape and you definitely can't say that you can't learn more about it because shape is just such an important technique when it comes to art and building in real life or in Minecraft. Let's skip ahead. Uh, let me actually see what's going on here. Oh, perf perfect. I gotta skip. There we go. So this is what I end up changing the blocks to. Now what I mentioned, uh, what I did mention previously before I started doing this is, you know, I was mentioning the, the, the colors and the shape and stuff like that. But if we actually go back to this over here, if you actually see this, there's a large majority of the area that is clay. But if you like, uh, let's actually, let's put it into a question. What is the dominant color in the in this build what is the main color now what i mean by main color what is the color that's mo that's used the most that's actually a lot harder to answer than you might think there might actually be a legitimate answer that he might have used one color more but when you look at it they're actually very close because there's a large majority of area here that's green on the roofs i mean there's some here there there over here, also in the background there, over there, all of that there, some of this. There's quite a bit of this dark green or the, you know, the dark prismarine. But then it's like, well, you know, that's the main color. But then you look, you're like, oh, what about the normal prismarine? That's everywhere. That's all this area, all this area, 
it's all of this and it's mainly condensed into a single like a region which is that bo this bottom portion of the build and that sort of it's like well that's the main color right well well what about the clay there's a lot of clay it's all of this section all of this all of that uh, what about the white you know the bone block well it's all of this all of that there's quite a bit of bone block as well and especially down over in this section which you can't really see there's like a lot of bone block you know there's some all the way down over here all this area has a little bit of bone block so what's the main block you know that's sort of the question that we're looking at and as I went through every single block which took a, a probably way too long to actually explain all that but when I actually look through you know all of these different um, blocks that we got going on they're just they're so similar in the amount that's used that it's sort of confusing on the eye um, and the reason I, I say is because of a painting technique where you need to have like a major, well not need, but it's a good idea to have a major color or two major colors or, you know, some major colors and then have some colors which are used, you know, less often. But for this right here, for this build, it's just a little confusing because your eyes don't really see the pattern in it. It just sort of, uh, it's, it's odd. It's very odd and hard to explain for sure. I think I explained it way better in the video. Um, let's actually go over to here. Oh, and yeah, there we, there we go. So as you can see, now it has a dominant color, which is this white. That is the dominant color. We know that is. And then we have some con like some other colors going around like over here. And now we have, you know, a primary and then secondary and uh, well, not really. And some tertiary shapes. Well, two multiple secondary, but it's fine. And now tertiary just means like third. So we have first, which would be you know, the bone block second, you know, the two secondary would be this green and this, uh, the, pris the two, the two pris prismarine pretty much. And then the tertiary or the third would be, you know, the birch and the, the green here, this, uh, well, that's close enough, um, to the other one. So like the birch and you know, the, the green, let's actually skip ahead now. And this is where I just tried out trying to add in that clay block back in there. I just couldn't find a good example, but here's an example of using some like yellow. That would have been like a good block to use if, if I really wanted to, but I want to keep it, you know, very original to what he did. And now I'm just adding, as you can see, I, I'm adding just a very simple outline around it. Actually. Yeah. I want to show you the, the simple outline first. So I just add this outline around the build and it looks pretty decent. Um, like this and it adds in just a nice little they're called crenellations in real life um, but there's not really a point to have crenellations here they just look cool which is you know fine so then it doesn't make it as mentioned earlier it's a bit more fantasy like I was saying uh, I've been practicing fantasy more than I usually do and uh, for, for this kind of thing uh, well I've always been in a fantasy but anyway so for this for this kind of thing you know I'm making it a bit more fantasy and this is pretty much all you really need but then I take it a couple steps further and I add in you know crenellations on the bottom side and I add in this uh, iron blocks around it and then I just add in some simple little um, doors and um, let me actually back up because um, there we go I tried out some stairs it didn't really work out too well um, but let's actually let me put those back there we go so now we're going to take a look and you know, it looks pretty decent I like that little tower uh, and then I go from from there and I add in these uh, sort of a side railing um, after this I add a side railing at least but as I mentioned um, in the video which you can't really hear unfortunately but one thing I do mention is that obviously the things that I do for, for my builds are not going to work necessarily for his builds because um, I would have to change, I would have to make the buildings fit my style of building because the way he builds obviously is going to be different than the way I build. So there's going to be a lot of things that don't really fit that well. For example, this side railing is a bit out of scale compared to the rest of the structure and it doesn't really make a lot of sense um, to have something this large on the side of the building, uh, which you'll see in a second. Um, here I go and almost there um, there we go it still looks really good and it fits in pretty well um, let me, oh, forgot there we go and yeah out right there I was explaining it's pretty nice for survival as well but that doesn't really matter at the moment um, but yeah if you look at this you know it's a pretty decent little um, shape on the side of it now this is his those were designed to fit on the castle so those fit the castle better Mine are quite a bit larger, probably too large, uh, which as you know, as mentioned, that's fine because obviously the castle wasn't designed to fit 
the details that I like to use. So um, for him, I think that his details work just a slight bit, you know, a little bit better. But this is something to give him some ideas about how to design his castle, you know, um, differently. Um, but yeah, let's see. Um, another thing is I don't change every um, every tower on the castle because, first off, I'm just trying to give Super Sidekin and also you guys some ideas on how to improve your own build. And if I was going to show you some building techniques, if I was going to show you some ideas and explain some stuff a bit more um, in depth, I would probably just do a time lapse video, and especially one of my own build because obviously. I build so differently compared to you know the you know most people that I'm probably going to be critiquing. Maybe not everyone, but most people I'm probably going to be critiquing. That means me trying to critique you know most people. It's just not going to work, you know, the best if I try building something directly from their build because I'm going to have to remove a lot of stuff just because I build differently. Not because it's bad, but just because I build differently. So let's actually skip ahead on this part. Um, I was just adding in another area to segment uh, what was going on with this um, here um, to add in. Uh, so there we go. So as you can see there, we added another little thing. Skip ahead again. Um, a lot of this is just me actually building this thing. So there we go. So with this, you can see here, I added in another little um, thing going there. Uh, for, I don't even know what they're called. I said crenellations earlier, but that's for like this thing here. And then, you know, crenellations up there don't really, you know, matter. But, you know, pe pe people might add them anyway. Um, but, yeah, these things right here, um, that that's a decent idea to add, you know, some things like that. Some on the top as well. And uh, another idea I came up with was to add one on the tip top of, let's actually skip, oh, there it is. Yep, add one on the tip top of that. Another pretty decent idea. Um, you know, some some decent ideas so far. But this is pretty much it, actually. Um, however, don't click off yet. Don't forget that there is actually a time-lapse video that is paired with this where I use the same colors to design my own building, though I forgot to use clay, which is unfortunate. Um, but either way, I did uh, create my own building based off of this structure here, um, that is more more fantasy, but also it's a bit more realistic in the same way. I have some I I mixed it differently than he did, um, but yeah, definitely check out that video, which will be in the description. It'll be somewhere, okay? It'll be somewhere. I'm gonna post them very close together. So if it's not posted yet, don't worry, it will be soon. It's a pretty nice little castle, and I think you guys will enjoy it. So don't forget to check that out. Also, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment if you enjoyed, because all those things that you do definitely help a lot um, to influence me to actually create more content and try to do better for you guys to give you guys better content and to be able to, you know, actually have time to go out, find some of you guys and actually critique your builds because, you know, Super Sidekin is actually a subscriber of the channel. So that I want to do this kind of stuff for more subscribers, more people that I, you know, that I already know. Um, but yeah, hope you enjoyed. Have a great, wonderful, sublime day and God bless.